It is a violent start to Independence Day in America. Late Monday, a shooting claimed several lives in a Philadelphia neighborhood. Police say a gunman in a bulletproof vest shot at random over multiple city blocks. As they were scooping up the victims and preparing them uh, for transport to the hospital, uh, they also heard multiple gunshots up the street. Police chased the man into an alley where he eventually surrendered. Two boys were also injured, a 13-year-old and a 2-year-old. Both are in stable condition. We're canvassing the area to get as much as we can to identify witnesses, to identify where cameras are located, and do everything that we can to figure out the why behind this happening. The shooting comes just one day after gunfire rang out at an annual holiday cookout in Baltimore. Two people were killed and dozens were wounded, most of them teenagers. Police suspect there were multiple shooters and the FBI is now offering a $28,000 reward for information that leads to the suspects. We won't stop until we find those responsible and hold them accountable. We won't. And in Kansas over the weekend, a shooting at a busy nightclub. Nine people were shot and two others trampled while rushing from the scene. We need to take a very st strong stance in response to what occurred because in my estimation, I believe it was totally preventable. Scenes of gun violence across the country now tainting what's meant to be a day of celebration. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News.